Hi folks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a health check endpoint in a Spring Boot application. A health check endpoint can be really useful for monitoring the status of your application and making sure it's running correctly. The first thing we need to do is add the Spring Boot Actuator dependency to our palm.xml file. This dependency provides a lot of useful endpoints for monitoring and managing our Spring Boot application, including a built-in health check endpoint. Next, we'll create a custom health check indicator class that will provide additional health information for our application. For example, we could create a memory health indicator class that checks the amount of free memory in the JVM. In this example, we're creating a memory health indicator class that checks the amount of free memory in the JVM. If the free memory is greater than 25% of the total memory, we return an up status. Otherwise, we return a down status with details about the free memory and total memory. Finally, we'll enable the built-in health check endpoint in our application.properties file and configure it to show detailed responses. This configuration tells Spring Boot to show detailed health check responses. Now, we can start the application by running the main method in the application class. To do this, simply run the main method. Now that the application is running, we can test the health check endpoint using Postman. In the new request, set the request URL to HTTP localhost 8080 actuator health and the request method to get. Then, click the send button to send the request. If the health check endpoint is working correctly, you should see a response that looks something like this. This response includes the status of all the built-in health indicators, as well as any custom indicators we've created, along with detailed information about the health of each indicator. So that's it. That's how you can implement a health check endpoint in a Spring Boot application and configure it to return detailed responses. I hope you found this video helpful and that it's useful for your own projects. Don't forget that the code for this video is available in our GitHub repository, and the link to the repository is in the video description. You can find the complete source code for this project, including the memory health indicator class and the application.properties configuration file. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.